everyone, I'm Yelena Sinbaeva. Welcome to the FIFA Confederation Cup. I'm looking forward to seeing you all here in Russia. Late November bore witness to the official draw for the FIFA Confederations Cup 2017, an important milestone on the long road to the 2018 FIFA World Cup here in Russia. Staged in Kazan, one of the tournament's four host cities, the draw attracted some familiar faces, including a number of coaches who will lead their charges at next summer's competition. The brainchild of Saudi Arabia, who first staged this intercontinental championship in 1992, the tournament was eventually adopted by FIFA in 1997. The 2017 event will be the 10th edition of a competition which is now held every four years in the country that is preparing to host the FIFA World Cup. Months in the planning, the draw was a lively and colourful affair and gave the world a glimpse of what to expect from this diverse nation, both in 2017 and during the main event 12 months later. Seven teams will join the hosts, Russia, in the Tournament of Champions and we'll have all the news and reaction from the draw itself later in the programme. As part of the activities surrounding the draw for the FIFA Confederations Cup, each of the four host cities had displays promoting their cities and stadiums. For the draw's host, Kazan, these activities included a tour of the Kazan Arena by FIFA President Gianni Infantino and a number of other dignitaries. One of the 12 stadia that will take centre stage during the main event in 2018, the venue will host four matches at the Confederations Cup, including the first semi-final on the 28th of June. Completed in 2013, the stadium is the jewel in Kazan's sporting crown and has already hosted a number of major international events, including the Summer Universiade and the FINA Swimming World Championships. The stadium here is home to Rubin Kazan, who've played in the UEFA Champions League and Europa League and are an established Premier League club. It's a modern stadium with a capacity of around 45,000. In the last 15 to 20 years, Kazan has undergone a lot of development. It's now the third largest tourist capital in Russia. And it has become an innovation center for both sport and culture. But the city's most captivating aspect is its cultural and historic heritage. This is one of the Muslim capitals of our country. There's a wonderful synergy of different cultures and historical treasures within its walls. It's a wonderful city, which I think those who will visit it will fall in love with and want to keep coming back to. Along with visiting the stadium and the surrounding sites, the delegation also unveiled a countdown clock on the banks of the Kazanka River. Despite the challenging weather conditions, the ceremony also saw former Russian captain Sergei Semak announced as an official ambassador for the 2018 FIFA World Cup a fitting tribute to a player who led Ruben Kazan to two Russian Premier League titles. 